Governor Ned Lamont is urging towns and cities with residents who are continuing to experience power outages to keep open warming centers and shelters as needed. As of noon on Saturday, the utility companies reported that residents in 93 towns and cities in Connecticut were still without power. They hope to have most if not all of the power restored by 8 a.m. on Sunday. Warming centers and shelters are open throughout the state, and anyone in need of shelter can call 211 to find the nearest available locations. Governor Lamont said. As for mass transit, Governor Hochul said there were some stoppages on the trains, delays at the airport, but all trains, subways, and airports remain open and are functioning, which is quite miraculous. Atlantic County also had a fair amount of flooding issues on Friday. In Egg Harbor Township, police said about 30 people had to be evacuated from motels in the West Atlantic City area along the Black Horse Pike, using a raised military-grade vehicle. West Atlantic City and Bargaintown Fire Departments helped in the efforts. Involving the Travel Inn, Travel Lodge, the New Sea Breeze and the Economy Inn. The American Red Cross also responded to provide assistance for those being evacuated. Two abandoned vehicles stuck in the flood waters along the Black Horse Pike were towed to the Egg Harbor Township impound lot. No injuries were reported in that situation. By late Friday morning, flood waters had begun to recede but the Black Horse Pike remained closed in both directions between Athens Avenue and Bayport Drive. Repeated flooding was expected Friday night, with the next high tide cresting around 8.15 p.m., police said. Severe winter weather descending on much of the country early Friday rolled into New Jersey in the form of heavy rains and strong winds, leaving flood-prone areas underwater. Hoboken was dealing with high water conditions around 9 a.m., which prompted NJ Transit train delays, according to a tweet by the transit agency. The frigid temperatures and gusty winds were expected to produce dangerous conditions through Christmas Day, AccuWeather said. New York City's Department of Health has declared a cold weather emergency, which will be in effect until 8 o'clock on Christmas morning. Governor Kathy Hochul toured the major flooded areas such as Howard Beach and the Rockaways. Much of the damage has been cleaned up. However, Hochul said if anyone needs assistance to visit the two shelters put in place, call 311 or reach out to FEMA for aid. In addition to having a statewide emergency declaration, I'll be asking the federal government for a declaration of emergency that allows us to seek reimbursements for the extraordinary expenses of all the overtime. And the fact that we've brought in mutual aid from other parts of the state, she said. Howard Beach is one of many communities cleaning up from coastal flooding and residents will be receiving help if they venture to PS 207, just one of two service centers open this weekend, the cleanup process started early Saturday morning for many locals. The storm surge caused flooding on Friday that damaged homes and cars. Many residents abandoned their cars because of significant damage. Others said their basements had several inches of water. Seawall pilings also floated around parts of Howard Beach. Howard Beach residents say they haven't seen flooding this bad since Hurricane Sandy. Connecticut was hit hard with power outages during the storm. More than 100,000 outages were reported.